So YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And I, you know, we always say timing is everything. Two days ago on Twitter, shout out to those of you that follow on Twitter. It's Engraven Vids, by the way, Instagram too. But anyway, two days ago on Twitter, we tweeted, man, I'm just, I'm waiting for the Ravens to announce that they having that open practice at M&T Bank Stadium this year. Just waiting for it. Because I just want to see something. And then the following day, which was yesterday, uh, they put out the tweet about Ravens mailbag where you can ask them questions and stuff about the Ravens. Uh, and I responded to that. I said, are y'all going to have the open practice at M&T Bank Stadium this year? So then not even an hour later, they make a whole nother tweet, a video and everything. Hey, fans, are you guys are welcome back to M&T Bank Stadium this year. We're having the open practice and we're having the training camp. Fans back at training camp. So, again, timing is everything. Were they responding to me? No, of course not. But I appreciated the timing. So it is official. Like they announced yesterday, like we just talked about just now, the Ravens are having fans back at training camp. And not only training camp, but the open practice at MNT Bank Stadium on July 31st. <laughs> I can't wait, man. I can't, ooh, I can't wait. So July 31st, man. Friends, family. Co-workers, brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, grandfathers, grandmothers, whatever. You can't bring your dog, though. No, no dogs allowed. But everybody is welcome to attend that event because it's free. It's 1,000% free. And another thing on top of that, you don't need any tickets. You don't need any passes. You don't need anything but to just show up and show out. That's it. That's it. I remember um, the last time they had it a couple years ago. We went and a bunch of us, we were just chilling, talking, vibing, watching practice, having a good time, man. Having a great time. Of course, last year they didn't have it because of everything going on. But when we went there, it, it's a lot of fun. They even have a fireworks show. Uh, a bunch of stuff for the kids and stuff. It's, they, Ravens always got something for the kids, man. Always. And of course, a bunch of stuff for the adults, too. So it's stuff for everybody. It's a really good time. If you can go... Please go. I know not everybody can go to a game at M&T Bank Stadium, but if you've never been for anything Ravens related, please go. It's free. It's free. And it's on a Saturday. It's on a Saturday. So now you have a, a little over a month to tell, you, tell your boss, man, hey, look, I, look, July 31st, I got some things coming up, man. I just, I, I can't work that Saturday. I know, yeah. And then he's going to be like, oh, but, but what? Then you're going to, no, no, no. I, I can't work on July 31st. And then you're going to go there, and you're going to see him there too. So then when y'all see each other, you're going to be like, oh, this was this what you was talking about. You're going to be like, yeah. He's going to okay, I understand. I wish you would have just told me that. So, yes, clear out the schedule. July 31st is going down. But both before and after that, the Ravens are also going to be having their training camp where fans can attend training camp. Now, they're bringing that back because, of course, last year, you know, some stuff was going on where they couldn't do it. But this year, they're bringing it back. So, uh, for those of you that have never attended training camp, training camp is a lot more uh, intimate. Uh, it's a lot more up close and personal uh, with the practices. Um, you get to see a lot more. You get to really see that the personality come out of these players and coaches a lot more, too, because you're a lot closer to the action. And you get to see some reporters, too. Like there, you, I mean, you get to see Jeff Zrebic, you get to see Jameson Hensley, all those guys, all those guys that you know, you get to see them there too. And it's like, oh, cool, okay, I know they look like that. I know they were that tall. I know they were that short. For me, uh, when I go, if, if somebody will see me, oh, I know you were that wide. I'll say, oh, yeah, me, that's me. But anyway, it's if you can go, go. Please go. Because it's it gives you a, a different appreciation uh, for what these Ravens do. Um, it gives you a different um, it gives you a different appreciation for the work that goes in to a football season. And it's training camp, so the pads are on. They be hitting like I remember, and I told y'all about it after we went. Um, I think it was the second training camp we went to, either the first or second one. I don't remember, but when Deshaun Elliott, boy, that boy, somebody came across the middle of Deshaun Elliott, whacked him, and Harbaugh pulled him to the side, and Harbaugh was yelling at him like, "Yeah, you can't do that. You gotta tone it down." But Deshaun Elliott was ready, man. He was coming with it. Um, so you, it's just nice to be able to see stuff like that to where, and it's a closed off environment that like the way that it works. So they said on July 15th, July 15th is when you need to reserve your, 
uh, pass. And the way that it works is a parking pass. So it's not like, hey, you got a family of five and, oh, man, but only got one parking pass. But no, that's fine. If y'all all in the same car, then y'all are all in the same car. That parking pass is good for everybody in one car. So you reserve your parking pass and you go to one location. You go drive there, park there, and then you get on the bus and the bus takes you to where the actual training camp facility is. There's some people that park at the actual facility, but you usually park at this uh, a, a lo different location. Like this right down the street. The bus ride is like five minutes long. But the bus takes you to Owings Mills, or well, not to Owings Mills because you're parking at Owings Mills, but it takes you to the actual training camp facility, uh, and you get off the bus, you go through the whole metal detector thing, and you walk in. And it's, it's, it's beautiful there. It's really nice. It's super clean. It's like, it's like when, you, when you get a fresh lineup at the barbershop. That's how Owings Mills, that's how the training camp facility looks. Um, literally every time, it looks like they just got a fresh lineup at the barbershop. Um, but it's the way that they do it is really nice. You get f a bunch of free stuff. You get cups like souvenirs. Like I can go just get your stuff that we got from training camp in 2018 and 2019. It's really nice, man. It's, it's really, really nice. Um, and then on top of that, uh, they got stuff for, for the kids and stuff. They got, they got, they got different activities. Um, they got like, you could put your hand up to like this football and see how your hand compares to NFL players hands and stuff like that. And they got different throwing activities. I think they had not a bounce house, but something for kids. I, f I forgot exactly what it was, but it, it was nice, man. It was nice. It's, it's a, it's a family event. And then even after practice is over, then you, the way that they did it, I remember in 2018, um, I remember Joe Flacco came over and Lamar Jackson had came over too, uh, to like sign autographs and stuff, sign kids jerseys and stuff, take pictures with the kids and stuff. Um, and then in 2019, yeah, they did the same thing too. Uh, but where the players, some of the players will come over and whatnot and take some pictures and stuff. And, and it's, it's really cool, man. Uh, and it's just a vibe. It's just a vibe. It's a very chill environment. It ain't like people go, oh, going all crazy and stuff. But if, if a big play happens and people are cheering and stuff, um, no cameras allowed. You cannot film anything. Ravens don't. They don't. They don't play about that. They say no filming, and that's been a thing. They, they, they don't. They don't just say, "Hey, you can't film Lamar Jackson throwing a receiver." No, no, it wasn't that. No, they, you can't film anything at all. Nothing. So that's um that's that. But uh, if you can go, please go, please go, please go, because it's just a different experience, a different vibe, man. And like I said, it's a more intimate type of thing. So it's not. 40,000 people in the state. No, it's only 1,000 fans. And then, of course, all the workers and the players and the coaches and stuff. But it, it'll certainly give you a newfound appreciation for the Ravens. And, and the way that the Ravens do it, they just, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing, man. So if you can go, please, please go. Please go. Um, you can't be on your cell phone. They, they, don't, they don't play about that, boy. If somebody see you on a cell phone, like the security, hey, hey, hey. No cell phones. They'll do it now. Um, so yeah, man, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. So again, July 15th, July 15th is when you need, you got to pay attention. That's when you need to reserve your parking pass, July 15th. Um, I'm excited because I'm extra excited because this will be the first time, like I've, I've been before, but my wife and Carter, they never been to it before. They've never been to neither the training camp and they've never been to the open practice before. But now the schedules have worked out to where they will be able to attend it, too. So I'm super excited for that, man, bringing the family to that. And it's, it's going to be a good time. But anyway, I love y'all, Team Keep It Clean. I appreciate y'all so much. And we are